How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a quick tutorial on Effects here. I'm using version 1.52 or as I like to call it the Elf Kisser engine. Um, we're going to use this particle engine to import some assets into RPG Maker MV. That's right, MV. It is a much, it's going to be much easier to import this stuff into MZ, which isn't out yet. But while we're waiting for MZ, we can still use this in RPG Maker MV. Um, I'm going to walk through the steps. Uh, after you've figured out how to make a particle, we'll go back into how to do that later in other tutorials. But once you've followed some tutorials or whatever and you figured out how to make your own first particle, you just want to take it out of this engine and put it in RPG Maker MV. That's what this tutorial is specifically for, so let's jump into it. So we've got our particle, and when we want to export it and put it into um, RPG Maker MV, we actually have to make it as a sprite sheet, a massive large sprite sheet that's going to um, increase load time. So um, MV loads giant sprite sheets, and it's not the optimal way to, um, to draw sprites. Uh, so MZ plans to make that a lot easier by making it so you just drag and drop this project file. You literally just export the file and put that in the animations and that's it. But um, for MV, which what we're going to be doing today, it's a little bit more of a process, but it's still possible to do. So you make something cool in, in Elf Kisser and you want to put it in MV while you're waiting for MZ to arrive. Let's do that. So. One thing that's important to note out is the, so the file size uh, or the um, resolution of the animations themselves. So um, in RPG Maker MV, the engine uses a sprite sheet that is um, five across. So it's got five on the X count. Um, and it's going to be a resolution of 192 by 192 per cell. So in order to get the view that we want, um, we're going to click on window and go to recorder and that'll pop up a box and you can drag it and put it over here like I have and we're going to click on the show guide and it'll probably be smaller but what I've done is I've multiplied 192 by 4 and got 768 so I've changed the resolution to 768 by 768 and I've turned on my guide so that I can see and then I'm going to position the animation with my middle mouse and scrolling in and out um, and, and so until the animation is completely within that box. Uh, once that's happened, um, what I want to do is match the number of frames that this animation has to the ending frame over here. So we're going to start on frame one and we're going to say put all of these frames in the export. Now the frequency is a good thing to have if you want to reduce the number of, anima uh, of uh, images that you leave that you're exporting. So say that we have 30 frames but I only want to take every other frame so I wanted to export 15 animations. Well then I would just um, set the frequency to 2 and it would grab 1, 3, 5, etc, etc. But since we only have 30 frames, I'm going to set the frequency to 1 so this is going to export 192. Well, Actually, it'll export 768 by 768 30 times, making a pretty massive um, file. Uh, but that's what we're going to do, and we're going to shrink it down using Photoshop. You can also do this in GIMP, uh, but then I'll show you how to, to import it into MV. So we've got this. What we're going to do is set this to say export as a single image. We're going to set the X count to 5. It might be 4 by default. Um, as for the options, we want to say generate alpha. And then for the save settings, just keep it to your application. Uh, once you've got your animation set and it's in the box and you've got your grid on, you've got your resolution, everything set up, we're just going to hit record and then we're going to give it a name. Uh, where to save it is in your project file. So I'm going to go into where I put mine. You can go to your MV and go to game open folder if you want to do that. But once you open folder, you, you're going to go into IMG animations and you're going to put it right here and we're going to give it a name. We're going to call this one uh, Elf Kisser uh, Hit 01. Simple as that. Call it whatever you want and boom. Okay, so it's got that giant massive uh, file, but we need to change it. We need to, to load it into Photoshop and change it. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you've got the animation loaded into GIMP or Photoshop, um, since we've multiplied the 192 by 192 um, by 4, we can simply reduce the entire canvas size, the whole image size actually, by 25% or down to 25%. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to select percentages. I'm going to constrain the proportion so they're the same. And I'm going to say reduce this image to 25% of its current size. So 768 becomes 192. 
and then that's basically all we have to do. I'm gonna hit file and I'm gonna hit save and it should overwrite that PNG. So now we've reduced its, its file size quite a bit. Um, we've also reduced its resolution and it should be the perfect resolution to be viewed inside the animations tab. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down to the bottom. Um, if you've got a new project, press control C on the glowing light and change your maximum to allow some space and then go ahead and <clears throat> press control V and paste it in there. Now what we're gonna do is select on the images button and find the one that we just made. I called it Elf Kisser Hit and you can see that it's right here now. And if we play it, it shows that. Now what we could have done, um, since this is showing every frame 30 times, is we could have um, set the separation to two so that um, it's only giving you every other frame and then the animation will appear to happen faster. You'll get less actual images, so the file size will be smaller too. But um, there we go, we've, we've brought in uh, something from Elf Kisser and put it into the engine. Now, you know, to use it, it's the same, same way you do it with, with anything. You can just show an animation. So let's go onto this box and have this show a different animation. So this event will show the one that we, we just made, the glowing light. Let's jump in the game. Now, when we hit the box, it shows that animation. And that's pretty much it. That's how you bring uh, an Elf Kisser particle effect into MV. It's going to be extremely easy to bring it into MZ, but we can actually still use them in MV. So I thought that was really cool. We talked about it on the Discord, and uh, T and I decided we should make a tutorial on it. So there we go. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, consider backing us on Patreon if you're able to do so, and come hang out with us in the Discord. That'd be very awesome. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments below or message me on Discord. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.